Darlington, 17th in the table. They've parted company with a the manager. They had been hoping to move into their new stadium in January, but can't. So, decent cup run would be very welcome. Conference club Stevenage turned up in the northeast, hoping to make Darlington's season go from bad to worse. Commentary from Simon Brotherton. Darlington in white, Stevenage in the red. Our referee today is Mike Pike from Barrow in Furness, who gets us underway. Stevenage actually won the conference a few years ago, but were denied entry into the Football League because of their stadium. Since then, they've enjoyed FA Cup wins over league sides, Orient, Cambridge and Swindon, while losing to Birmingham City and Newcastle. So Darlington certainly will know all about the conference side's FA Cup pedigree. Betts with the header away. Scott in there for Stevenage. Should be straightforward though for Ryan Valentine. This is Valentine once more. First touch of the ball for Offiong, who no doubt will be watched very closely. Darlington's dearth of goalkeepers means that Neil Madison, who used to play for Southampton and Middlesbrough, and it is an outfield player, of course, sits on the bench today as the potential substitute between the sticks. Now a chance for Darlington perhaps to put Stevens under pressure. And not only do they do that, then they take the lead. Richard Hodgson. The second minute of the match and the dream start that George Reynolds was hoping for. Ball cleared away by Rob Trott. And it's Darlington's first half chance. Trot's clearance didn't find its intended target. The shot did. Chris Porter outside his penalty area. Porter getting a rare opportunity to play today due to the various goalkeeping problems, but this is a very promising surging run, and it almost breaks inside the penalty area. For Seguer, who'd moved forward. Simon Wormel causing the problems, and Wormel it is who goes across to take the corner. What a disastrous start for Stevenage. They were a thorn in Newcastle's side five seasons ago. There's still plenty of time for them to get back into this match! Whoa! What a start to this game we have! Stevenage are level, having been behind for less than two minutes. Howell with the header for Stevenage. Darlington not getting to the ball first. What a reply from Stevenage. Here's off Young. Condon's making a move towards the edge of the penalty area, waiting near the penalty spot. Oh, that was desperately close. Excellent play there by Darlington and Hodgson, so close to a second goal. All Stevenage eyes on Condon as he made his run into the penalty area, but off Young saw the other support that was coming, and it nearly led to the second goal. Clark. Come short. Steve is keen to commit themselves. Great chance now for Obion. Oh, what a smooth finish. Darlington in front for the second time this afternoon. And the youngster from Newcastle took the pass from Hodgson. And look at him just gliding across the turf. What an inspired loan signing he could prove to be, and that was a very cool finish. Darlington have reached the third round of the FA Cup three times in the last five seasons. The furthest they've ever gone is the fifth round back in 1958. They certainly finished the first half the stronger of the two sides. But it's been a lively competitive game so far. Here's Simon Betts. 
likes to get forward. He's got support on that far side. Space opening up now for Neil Wainwright. Dangerous ball in, Hodgson's there, Conlon! They started the first half explosively, and they've done the same in the second. Barry Conlon's tenth goal of the season. Wainwright had room, he used it. Hodgson nearly finished, and Conlon finally did. Stevenage caught cold at the start of a half, as they were shortly after the beginning of the match. Stevenage trying to play offside for a moment. Offion wanted the ball played through. Hodgson waits, and he cuts a frustrated figure. He wanted the ball played a little earlier. Wainwright, though, still ploughing away. And it's a dangerous ball. Hodgson! Campbell away. Nichols is up there. And finally, Jamie Campbell, a former Exeter City defender, gets the ball clear. Conlon. And the flag goes up on the near side. Denied a second goal of the afternoon. But at 3-1, the young striker can almost smile about it. There's Travis. Shows far too much of that to uh, Ballantyne. Now Hodgson. Oh, that's a lovely pass. Great chance. Two goals on the day, and both of them goals of the highest quality. Hodgson, the creator, Offiong, who looked as though he had all the time in the world, casually planting it past the goalkeeper. Look at this for confidence from the youngster. There's the man with the vision for Darlington Football Club. The new stadium is ready and waiting. The team will be there at the beginning of next season. And he wants to take them all the way. Now it's Clark. Is there one final chance? Nichols wants the ball. Conlon with the header back in towards Betts. Not far away from a fifth. Darlington finishing the game as they started it. On top and threatening the Stevenage goal. Played three minutes of stoppage time. One final look at the watch from the referee. And Darlington are in the hat for the third round once again for the fourth time in the past six years. And won't he be a happy man tonight? George Reynolds, the chairman of the club, the man who's trying to build a big future for Darlington, shakes the hand there of Wayne Turner, the manager of Stevenage, and will no doubt be waiting to shake every hand of his players as they leave the field of play. Richard Offion there scored twice. He was the star of the show, but it was a good all-round team performance, and Darlington have got past what was potentially an awkward tie against Stevenage Borough to win by four goals to one. The start of the second half, a goal less than 30 seconds after the restart. Presumably, from your point of view, that was the decisive moment in the game. Well, we did speak about that at half-time and said uh, an early goal would kill them completely, and. Uh... 30 seconds is an early goal, you know, so we were pleased with that, but that, that's what we intended, we went, tried to go straight at them after half-time and kill the game off, and uh, it worked very